Once upon a time, in a faraway place, there was a small family of geometric figures that lived and played together in harmony. But this was not the case for all of them. In fact, not far away, but on the sidelines, there was a small black ball that was never called to play by the other figures. Why don't you ever let me play with you? she always asked. Because you are boring, answered little blue rectangle. You can't say that until you invite me to play with you, replied black ball. And you are ugly and colorless, not beautiful like us, added red triangle. I'm tired of being in a place where no one loves me. I'm going to leave and find someone who will invite me to play and who is better than all of you. At these words, all the figures burst into a roaring laugh. Did you hear her? <laughs> Keep dreaming, silly ball, said the red triangle. Anyway, if that's what you want, you're only doing us a favor by leaving. Come on, send her away. After these words, without even having time to respond, Black Ball was pushed away from the other figures, still snickering satisfied. Oh, what a blow. But it doesn't matter. I finally got away from that bad place, counseled Black Ball. Hello? Is someone there? said an unknown voice. Black Ball began to look all around, alarmed, looking for that new voice. Who are you? I can see you asked worried black ball i'm up here look up black ball followed the order and looked up hello i'm purple ball i haven't seen you here before are you lost no i left my family to look for a new home where i will be loved and cared for explained black ball really that's what i've always wanted to do they all treat me badly here and as if that wasn't enough they keep me a prisoner Please help me free myself. Let me come with you. Don't be afraid. I'll help you escape and I'll let you come with me. Just stay strong. With that, Black Ball jumped up and freed Purple Ball from his prison in a flash. Thank you very much. You saved me. Now let's run away. Quick! Black Ball and her new friend proceeded with their journey until they arrived in a new place. Where do you think we are? asked Purple Ball, turning to his companion. You are in my house, pronounced a new unknown voice. The two balls turned their eyes in the direction of that sound in search for the source. Hello? Who are you? I am Red Ball, and I would like to know what you are doing inside my house, she asked annoyed. Don't be alarmed. We do not have bad intentions, reassured Purple Ball. We are just looking for a new home where we can be welcome. Red Ball showed herself suddenly interested. A new home, you say? Would there be a room for me? I'm so bored here. No one wants to play with me and everyone is always silent and sad. Of course, whoever wants to come with us is welcome, said Black Ball happily. Having said that, the boss left to proceed their research, exploring new places in search of the ideal place, having fun together, as never before. But despite the games and the fun in the company, the boss did not find what they were looking for and began to lose hope. Why can't we find a new ideal home for us? But right when even little Black Ball was about to give up, they heard a voice from the darkness. Don't be discouraged, little balls. Your journey is finally over. Turn around, said that angelic-like voice. The little balls were curious about the order given, and as soon as they turned around, they saw the place they so desired, their home, full of many little balls like them, of every size and color, ready to welcome them with open arms. I can't believe it! We did it! said Black Ball with tears in her eyes for happiness. Come on, don't be afraid. Come with us, said the voice. Without being told twice, the little balls rushed together to the others, who welcomed them with kisses and hugs, and from there the little balls no longer had any worries, but could play and live happily knowing that they were finally accepted.